Hi, hello everybody. This presentation is about uh, phase and state transition in food systems. And uh, this is actually the last topic in our course, IMK 209, Physical Properties of Foods. Um, so basically in this topic, um, at the end of this topic, we should be able to understand a few terms like glassy state, rubbery state, metastable glass transition temperature, uh, plasticizer, and also a state diagram. Also, to explain the various ways of how the glassy state can be formed in foods, explain the important features on state diagram and its applications, and explain the significance of glass transition and its impact on food quality and stability. Um, I have prepared two videos on the general aspect of physical uh, state of food and also uh, more on the amorphous state of food. And uh, in those two videos, I've also explained the meaning of uh, glassy state and also the amorphous state. So please watch those two videos to understand and to learn more. Uh, but in this uh, presentation, I will focus on the state uh, diagram. When we talk about the phase transition, uh, the meaning of phase transition is the transformation of a thermodynamic system from one phase or state of matter to another. And a phase, what is a phase? A phase of a thermodynamic system and the states of matter have uniform physical properties. So this is actually a phase diagram of uh, water. Um, I've asked you to watch the video, 12 minutes video from Han Academy explaining about phase diagram. So I hope you have watched that uh, video to understand about, uh, to refresh your understanding about phase uh, diagram. But uh, briefly, uh, what you see in the screen here, this is a phase diagram of uh, water, uh, which is a plot of pressure uh, against uh, temperature on the x-axis here. And this is the atmospheric pressure at one atmosphere or 760 millimeter mercury. So you can see um, water actually can uh, transform into, can present um, in three different uh, phase, which is a solid phase, a liquid phase, and a gas phase. And the, the three different phase, phases of uh, matter here, solid, liquid, and gas, these are the three, three different states of water that can exist at different combination of uh, pressure and also uh, temperature. And uh, we can actually draw a line to separate the different, the three different phase here. Um, so each line here is actually represent the equilibrium condition. So any point on the line here actually represent the equilibrium condition. And the solid phase, the, the solid phase will have its own uh, properties, and including the thermodynamic properties. And basically, they are in the, in the equilibrium state. And the same for liquid also, um, and the gas. But as you can see from the previous uh, videos, there's a um, the transition from one phase to another phase, like from ice to solid ice to liquid water, or from liquid water to gas, and vice versa, um, it's not that simple because food can also exist uh, in the amorphous state. So, for example, here you can see the spaghetti, which um, in the, the the spaghetti, the dry state is actually a solid, but not crystalline, it's a solid amorphous glassy state. Then when we put in the hot boiling water, uh, it will turn into a soft, rubbery, amorphous state. So here, the transition from the solid, glassy, brittle uh, spaghetti into a soft, rubbery state. It doesn't involve a phase transition from solid to a liquid but it involves actually the transition from a solid rubbery glassy state into a soft, uh, sorry, from a solid crystalline state into a rubbery state. So for uh, spaghetti, we, we don't say that the spaghetti 
undergoes a phase transition because it doesn't change from a solid to a liquid or to another phase. But um, since uh, spaghetti is actually an amorphous uh, material, so it actually undergo a change of state rather than a change of phase. So meaning that it, ch it changes from a state of glassy state into a rubbery uh, amorphous state. Okay, so I repeat, in this case, the spaghetti does not, um, in this case, the spaghetti undergoes a state transition from a hard, glassy, brittle state and boiling in water and it will transform into another state of amorphous, rubbery, soft state. So this is what we uh, mean by uh, state transition as opposed to a phase transition. <clears throat> so we can say that a phase transition can, uh, there are of two types. One is a first, uh, what we call first order transition, like water. So we have a phase diagram for, the, for this. So the change, uh, the change in the phase from solid to a liquid, from ice to water. So it has a melting uh, point or melting temperature. Vaporization from uh, liquid to gas or steam. Condensation from the gas into a liquid state. Freezing from liquid water into solid ice and crystallization. So this is what we call first order transition. And usually there is a sharp point where the phase change into another phase. So we can actually uh, find a sharp melting temperature, a sharp, a sharp uh, vaporization or boiling point and so on. Whereas for uh, amorphous, an amorphous material like spaghetti just now, the, the state transition in this case can be described as a second order transition. In this case, there's, a, there's no change in phase, but there is a change of the state uh, from a glassy uh, into a rubbery state. So from a glassy a spaghetti uh, state just now into a soft rubbery uh, state. And in this case, the transition of the uh, thermodynamic properties does not change uh, you know, a very sharp point. There's always like a range of temperatures where the transition occurs. So this is what we call second order transition. So in general, we can say that um, any food uh, material can undergo either a phase change, for example, you know, and if we have water in food, water that form um, ice, solid ice. So for any food like water or ice, we can describe the changes, the phase changes using the phase diagram. For example, you know, between crystal to uh, melt and liquid melt from liquid melt into a crystalline phase or solid phase. So we can use phase diagram to describe the changes here. But for any food material that uh, exists in the form of uh, glassy or amorphous state, um, any change from the glassy into a rubbery state as a function of temperature or moisture, uh, this change cannot be described by using a phase diagram, but we can describe by using a so-called uh, state diagram because there is no change in phase, but there is a change in state uh, from glassy state into a rubbery state. So we need um, another kind of diagram to describe the changes between the uh, crystalline state into, you know, uh, into a melt state or from the glassy state into a rubbery state. And this can actually uh, form into, uh, you know, into uh, another state as shown in this uh, diagram here. So this is where we have another diagram we call state diagram. Uh, which I will explain in more detail in the next uh, presentation, uh, part two.